Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about this vent cover. I've been kind of playing around with it. This is gonna be kind of cool. So I've just made a contour of ellipses in a 15 by 15 circle. My nudge factor is set on 7.5. I'm gonna take my virtual segment leak key, and I'm gonna delete all this. Then I'm gonna take, first of all, I need to take my rectangle and convert it to a curve if it isn't already. And then I'm going to delete every other line on both sides. This takes just a second, and you're going to see in just a second how this is going to work and how really kind of easy it is because we're only going to have to do this one time. Now, that ellipse is an object. Control-D and make a duplicate and flip it and nudge it over that 15. But we also have our lines from here. So what we need to do is go up to object and break the curve apart. Grab all those lines, hold down the shift key, grab all those lines, control G, group them together, flip them. And for some reason it does that. Let's do this. Let's take this back. That works perfectly. I don't understand why my lines don't nudge over. First of all, we could probably just take away the rectangle now. Just hit delete. And I didn't make a duplicate because my lines are still there. Let me excuse, pardon me little brain problem. I think it, that's the duplicate. So now, you know what we could do? Let's just delete that side. Now that I have my lines, let's control D and make a duplicate and flip it and then move it over that seven and a half inches. There we go. Control D, flip it, move it over that seven and a half inches. Now, our box is still 15 by 15. We can make a, another one that's 16 by 16. Put P, I move these around, so Control G and then hit P, put it in the center of the page, and we will real quickly to see if we have any leaks, and we do not. So now we have another Odyssey, but I did not leave an oval or another realm of circles. So what we can do is take this one, I grouped them together, control U, which is ungroup, grab this one again, and let's make a duplicate and move it over. It didn't get my lines. You know what? We don't need lines. So I'm gonna smart fill this in and move this over here. But I'm gonna go ahead and smart fill the whole thing and that's gonna seal up all my lines. That makes life a lot better. Now I'm gonna take this item, left click, right click, in red. And I'm gonna take this group, I'm actually gonna make it larger and maybe put it like that. I need it, I need the ends to be out of everything. Let's just stretch it for the video. I need I need all the open ends to be not open. That looks pretty good. Let's select it. And let's do that, make intersection. Completely different look. Now all we have to do is, you can do one of two things here. This might be the no, we're going to have to do it. There's really no shortcut. Let's take our virtual segment delete key. We need way for the for the color to get in there. It's going to change up the pattern a little bit, but there's really no way around it. And that's an empty line, so we just need to delete it. Let's 
Let's just see what it looks like. You never know. It might look cool. Nope, we've got some leaks. I think what I did, I, I deleted the long, wrong line while I go. Let's try starting down here and delete this line. You're learning as I'm learning. There we go. Now that won't get any color, so we can put that there. But that gives us a single line there. That doesn't work. Um, let's just see what happens. So this one is open. This one is open. And that one is open. And then we'll open up this. Let's just see what it looks like. We're going to have to nudge it all out of the way to get it off the page. Take the Smart Fill tool. That's a pretty cool design. Well, I could have made this, you know, instead of when I made the circle bigger. And then with your Smart Fill, you should be able to get it out of the way. And left click, right click, and that will cut out. That's a pretty cool design. If I was having to do it over, I would make these thinner. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.